Hey again gamers, today I'm going to be talking about using parallax and how to make a 3D effect with it for a 2D image. So I've uh, ripped the sprites for Street Fighter 2 Brazil Blanca stage and we'll go into the emulator here where I ripped them from so you can get a better idea of the different layers. So let me put this on pink. So this layer um, displays uh, missing the clouds. That one's missing the tree. And then this one will take off the characters. And then you're left with those layers. So we have one, two, and then three three layers for the background and to really make something look more 3d you really want to come in here and uh, go into the rips you want to grab each image that you have and uh, go into your into your photo editor and like you know pink out all the parts that you want um, like I took this section here of the water because I wanted the water unlike in the normal game it, it stays stagnant I wanted it to kinda run up under this hut I put the hut on its own layer I took the clouds in the background I made them separate from the sky this, and this island oh and another tip too when you're trying to get since we're talking about parallax here, when you're trying to rip a parallax uh, stage, you really want to use nebula. Let me show you why. Let me find the one that's just got the, the ground on it. Okay, so this is the one that you're going to be taking the ground from. The problem is when you walk in game left and right to try to grab these sprites, the game itself is going to be put in parallax on the floor so it's impossible to rip that way but if you're using nebula you can scroll on the different layers so let's say we wanted to come over here and get the rest of the dock all you would have to do is hit left and right right here and it will scroll over so you can get you know the images that you need without using parallax on them and then we can take those and then come back in game and use them. So that's a quick little tip on that. Let me get the guys back on the screen because I'm going to need to use this for demonstration later. Alright. So let's look what I did that's different. Round 1. Fight. Fight. Okay, here the stage looks exactly like it does in game, minus the trees and the characters. Except, I like I said, I, I put the water on its own layer separate from um, this island and the dock and the hut. Because I wanted the water to run up under the hut like it's, you know, moving water. And here that is. So I just used... You know your tile and your tile spacing and then some velocity on it where negative makes it go left and positive will make it go right the next thing I, I added was some scale Delta and this will make the image stretch so if you have it if you have it negative it'll uh, stretch upward if you have it positive it'll stretch downward so let's see what I did with that to make it look even more 3D and with depth. You see how when I move up, the water is stretching upwards to give it a more 3D effect as I move upwards. So on top of making it move, I also am stretching it using the zoom delta, or scale delta. And you, when you're stretching it, especially if you have a 
a super jump stage like I'm making, you're going to want a really low level because here I'll, I'll show you. I'll, I'll even boost it up to let's say 9 and we'll see how much it's moving. Round 1. Fight. Fight. You see how it's rising above the island now and going into the clouds, which is not what you want. It still looks okay, but I would have to move. It, it's going a little bit too much. It's giving too much of an effect. So, what you have to do is you just have to trial and error it. There's no math formula that you can really work with. Like, I started off on, uh, like, I think... Uh, 0 30 and I just kept working my way down till I I got it about where I wanted which ended up on 5 the island um, it's moving at its own delta and it's separate let's go look at the island I made it a little bit longer here because I'll show you when I move left and right later on that because the water is running up under it it does not need to move but as I move upwards it needs to move with the water and how to make it move with the water is you're gonna want to use your deltas like I, I trialed and error it till I got let me go ahead and reset this stage so it's on the point five that we set. Round one. Fight. Fight. So it's moving with the top of the water. So let's say I started off with a point nine. Just guessing it at first. Fight. Fight. As you can see, the, it's not matching up with the water that I have on point 0.5. So I just kept messing with it until I got, until I realized that 6 was really what I needed. Fight. So now we have a 3D looking river that's running to the left. The clouds, uh, I set them on about the same layer or the same uh, level going up as the island because they kind of move at the same pace and I did the same thing for the sky now again I went in here and separated the clouds from the sky because in the normal game they're all connected so the sky would be moving with the clouds and the water would not be moving so now we already have a better effect in the background which just makes it have a little bit more depth. Uh, the next thing I did was I put the hut in here. I am also using a scale delta with it, except I'm putting it on the the x axis instead of the y axis, like I did with the water. I put it on the y axis so it would move up and down on the y. The scale delta. For the hut, I'll show you in a minute, is moving on the x-axis. Where the front part of the hut, this would be the side that's like kind of facing toward the right character. The hut itself is, does not have any uh, scale delta because it's. I wanted it to be a flat image. But with the side, you'll see in a minute that this part here, this section here, is going to be bending as we walk left and right to give a a 3d effect that way so as you can see we move left and right the perspective of the side of the building is moving so now we have water moving this way and the building side moving left and right to help complete a more 3d effect the last thing we're going to talk about is the uh, 
the parallax on the ground. This one's a little bit more tricky. So for the dock, you can use two different uh, versions of parallaxing on the ground. Like this one is for Mugen 1.0. And so what this means is one is equal to the top of the sprite. And let me go to it. Okay, one is equal to this top part up here of the sprite. And the second number here is equal to the bottom part of the sprite. So, what? how do you make it parallax is you want the top, since it is bending towards us, and this part back here is not, you want this number to be larger than this number. So if I just put, if I put this on one and one, where you're saying the top equals to the bottom, it would look like nothing is happening. Round one, fight. fight. For the parallax, it's just a solid image. Okay. So since I made it larger at point four zero, whoop. Fight. Fight. Now it creates the the parallaxing effect. It looks like the boards are going or bending left to right as we move. And again, like I told you about the island, as I move left and right, it's on its own delta. So it also is creating help creating depth as we move left and right. All these elements are working together to give this old stage a more 3D effect. The other, um, the other way to parallax the floor is to use the new trigger, or the new scroll, width, which is in Mugen uh, 1.1. We're going to take this away, and I'll show you how you how this one works. I'm going to go to my dock sprite, and what you want to do is you want to figure out how how wide this is. Since it's a rectangle and the top is equal to the bottom, they're both at 132. So how you would write width is 832, 832. This is just like writing x scale equals 1 and 1. And you do the same, uh, you do the same thing that we did here by increasing this to 4.0 you would in turn make the top uh, like wider and then the bottom part here or this is the top of it here uh, thinner and the bottom you would make it thicker you also have to mess with the delta if not the characters will slide around but I'll get into that in a minute. So let's look at it with width. Round one. Now I'm not going to trial and error the width to get it to look completely right, but this is how it looks right now. 
because I'm going to be using X scale for this one. So that's how you use width. Either one will work, except width allows, if you take X scale away and use width instead, then you can have an animated parallax, and you do it just like you would any animation. You just uh, put all the animated stuff on the bottom. I don't have one open right now. Okay, here, here's a good example. In the Belgrave Square Labs that I made. See, I, I made an animated parallax here. I did the same thing. I, I put the width, you know, the top or the bottom part is wider than the top. And even though it's saying parallax, since I'm using width instead of X scale, I can use this just like I would any animation for a background. And it works great. That's really the only time you want to use width is just to animate because I don't I don't think it works quite as well as the X scale the the sprites don't distort as much when you move left and right they stay a little bit cleaner using width but you see how this bend effect is going on it, it doesn't happen that much with uh, with parallax floors that aren't as long but this this dock is pretty long and it starts to create that effect so if it's not animated, I just go ahead and go back to the X scale. Because I think it it works just a little bit better. Round one. Not bending Fight. and distorting. Except when you get to the edge. The, you see how when you're using X scale, it doesn't quite stay as clean. It starts to really get jagged in here. But when you're more in the center of the screen, it doesn't create the bend effect like width does. So they both have their strengths and weaknesses. For this stage, though, I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and use the X scale since it's not animated. And one last thing you're gonna want to do with parallax, I've already uh, figured it out with with this one. But the characters uh, delta that they're on sometimes they look like they're going to be skating around so let's say I had this on 9-1 or 1-1 doesn't matter which one it's not going to look correct and it's going to look like they're skating around round one fight see how the dock is it's not matching up with this with Kung Fu Man's feet the one that the one here that's not moving watch as I move backwards see how he's sliding so when you have something like that going on you just want to mess around with the uh, X Delta just keep going up and down until you, you see it start to match up I ended up at 0.81 round one fight so now you can see as I move left and right, he's not he's not creating the skating effect. His feet are staying in the position that they need to. So that is how you create a 3D effect with using 2D images. I hope this helps, and if you got any questions, just hit me up in the forums.